Tonight, the stages and more importantly, the fireworks are being set for tomorrow's 4th of July celebrations and many are happening around the valley. But with the hot temperatures that Lindsay's been tracking, organizers say they want you to stay hydrated. Team Charles Chase go lightly. Talk to some of them today. He joins us in Scottsdale with more on what's going on behind the scenes. With the amount of shows going on tomorrow, you'll be able to see fireworks all across the valley, and that includes the massive show that will be put on right here in Scottsdale at Westworld as they celebrate their 10 year anniversary. We'll also be seeing the longtime return of the fabulous Phoenix 4th of July fireworks show. We're back. We're better than ever. It's a longtime staple in the valley. 7,800 aerial effects that are coordinated to music for the fireworks show. It's going to be big. It's going to be amazing. The 35th annual fabulous Phoenix 4th fireworks show is back at Steel Indian School Park starting at 6 p.m. after the pandemic stopped it in 2020 and 2021. And then supply chain issues really kicked us while we were down in 2022 when we were really expecting to make this big comeback. Along with the fireworks this year, there'll be live music, food and vendors, as well as plenty of activities for kids of all ages. However, with those blazing hot temperatures in the triple digits, officials here say you need to stay hydrated. We have eight cooling stations, so just know that we have water here, but you should be drinking water throughout the day. Well, it may be 113, but it's going to be 74 in here tomorrow. For the Scottsdale 4th of July celebration at Westworld, people will be celebrating the holiday with air conditioning. We are going to be able to celebrate in a very safe environment. There's no problem with the temperature in here. Kerry Dunn with the event says they are celebrating their 10 year anniversary making enough room for 4,000 people with an all-you-can-eat buffet, a rodeo show, circus performers, and so much more that anyone can enjoy. Indoors is where all the action's at, all the fun opportunities for kids and families to hang out and just have a great fourth. It starts at 5 and then at 9 o'clock on the dot, people will walk out to see the fireworks display. Dunn said it will be the largest show they have ever put on. With our fire danger, shows like this may be the best way to celebrate. Valley Police Department say they are on standby for any illegal fireworks that are launched at people's homes. Depending on which city you live in, you could be hit with a $1,000 fine if you're caught with illegal fireworks. In Arizona, that means any display that shoots up in the air like this. However, sparklers and any fireworks that remain on the ground like fountains are allowed on your own property. Now, I did reach out to multiple police departments today to find out what the potential consequences would be if an at-home fireworks display got out of hand, causing damage to a home or even a fire. They told me you could be charged with criminal damage and even endangerment. So it's best to remember if you do plan on celebrating tomorrow to do it responsibly. We're in Scottsdale tonight. Chase Golightly, 12 News. Chase, thanks. Let's put a finer point on some of those illegal fireworks for Arizona uh, so you don't get in trouble. Firecrackers, sky rockets, bottle rockets, missile rockets, and something called torpedoes. Uh, yeah, the rockets, okay, they can't go into the air. That's a dead giveaway there. According to state law, people are also not allowed to light fireworks on public property. That includes parks, streets, and sidewalks.